Setting up speakable items is pretty easy and straightforward. System preferences, accessibility, speakable items. If you're setting it up for the first time, it won't be on. So turn it on. Select which uh, input you want to use, in my case, the Plantronics headset. Calibrate if necessary. Uh, that just sets the audio level, the uh, input level. And then if you want to hear your co-pilot acknowledge your command, click Speak Command Acknowledgement. Otherwise, you won't get that. You won't get it read back to you. I also have it play a little popping noise, although it's kind of redundant because if the command is being spoken back to you, that means it has heard it. Anyway, I use the pop. Select a listening key. The default here is the escape key, which does not work in X-Plane for a couple of reasons, including if you're using X Squawk Box on VATSIM. So I've changed it to the, uh, I think that's the tilde. And then uh, you'd probably want to choose listen only while key is pressed. You could have it listen continuously, but that really risks it uh, taking over when it thinks it hears you say flaps down or whatever, and you're suddenly plummeting out of the sky. And now the commands. In this case, we're going to do application-specific items, and those live in uh, their own folder for each application that you've set up. In this case, I've already set up Xplane, and you can see the uh, list of commands here that are uh, already ready to go. The next step is to choose a voice for your co-pilot. So it's back to System Preferences, Dictation and Speech, text-to-speech, system voice. The default system voice is Alex. Most people recognize me by my voice. Which sounds like a Macintosh, which is okay, but I preferred something different. And I discovered today for the first time that in fact, if you go down and click customize, a menu, uh, a list comes up with dozens of other voices that are available. Not only that, other languages. In other words, these are uh, voices that will sound natural in, say, German or French or Greek. So you could set up this whole thing to follow French commands, German commands, whatever you like. What I've chosen is UK English, Daniel. And these are free files, by the way, from Apple. They do take a little while to download. They're about a third to a half a gigabyte each. But the quality is, is uh, better, and I think it's worth it. Let's listen to Daniel here. Hello, my name is Daniel. I am a British English voice. And just for the heck of it, Indonesian. Hello, nama saya Damayanti. Saya berbahasa Indonesia. It's just amazing. What a world. Anyhow, you've got your uh, voice chosen and set up, and you are good to go. Time to define some keyboard commands in X-Plane. Settings, joystick, keys, and equipment. Keys. This brings up the list of default keys, as well as anything that you've customized. In my case, I've already added quite a few. The great thing about X-Plane is the number pad, the numpad keys can also be programmed separately from the other numerals at the top of the uh, keyboard, as can the function keys, Shift F1, etc. So we're going to add a couple of new assignments here. As you can see, I've already added all these. And flaps up and flaps down. Click Add New Key Assignment. Come over here. Uh, literally press on the keyboard the keys that you wish to assign, in this case Shift F3. Find what you want Shift F3 to do, in this case flaps up. Voila, done. Let's add another one. Shift F4, choose what you want it to do, flaps down. Great. Now, anytime you hit Shift F3 or Shift F4, flaps will go up or down one detent. However, what you want to do is be able to speak it. So, we're going to add this as a keyboard command in Speakable Items. Pressing the listening key, you literally say, define a keyboard command. Define a keyboard command. Do the same thing. Shift F3 on the keyboard. Type what you want the system to listen for. In this case, flaps up. Do the same thing again. Define a keyboard command. Define a keyboard command. Press Shift F4. Type in the text you want it to listen for. Flaps down. Save. Speakable items, if with any luck, will now do exactly what we've asked it to do. Pressing the listening key, flaps down. Flaps down. Each time you do it, it'll go down one detent. Flaps down. Flaps down. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. And there you go.
Now, if you take a look at X-Plane's unique settings in the speakable items uh, folder, you'll see flaps down, flaps up have been added. Keep in mind that you can assign to speakable items pretty much anything you can do with the keyboard, which is, uh, you know, 90% of, of X-Plane, right? So if you go up and look at your keys again, you have uh, all sorts of standard things that exist in the default key assignments. Any of these can be assigned to speakable items. For example, to pan left, Q, pan right, E. So let's assign those now. Define a keyboard command. Define a keyboard command. Q. View left. Assign a keyboard command. Define keyboard command. Oops, define, I mean. All right, pan right is E. View right. Okay. View panel. View panel. View forward. View forward. View left. View left. View right. View right. View right. View right. View panel. View panel. Okay, let's add chase view here. Define a keyboard command. Define keyboard command. A. View chase. View chase. View chase. Very nice. So speakable items works great for single discrete key commands, which fortunately are what make up most of the commands in X-Plane. Where it does not work the other 10% of the time is when you need to press and hold a key, for example, to start an engine, uh, change pitch trim, that sort of thing. You're, you're kind of screwed there. You'll need some other means to do that. If you're starting to run short of buttons to assign, you can use toggle where there are on and off options. For example, I've set up the landing lights as a toggle rather than on and off. Um, that seemed to be realistic enough for, for my use. Finally, keep in mind that you can also assign to speakable items pretty much any keystroke you use while using Xplane, even if it's not an Xplane command. For example, X Squawk Box, the VATSIM plugin, I've programmed as uh, well the two main uh, keys that you might use. Show ATC. Show ATC. Show text. Show text. And those are the basics. This tutorial uses Explain 9. However, the basic technique applies to earlier versions as well as Explain 10. Your only prerequisites are Mac OS 10 and a microphone, preferably a headset. Now, if you don't mind, I'm late 40 with one foxy flight attendant. Of course, I'll remain the perfect gentleman. Oh, Daniel. I hope not. Please. Call me Nigel. Cheers.